steroids. There's a lot of speculation about their use among athletes, both professional and amateur. But for the first time, a major survey reveals when young men start using steroids. If you have a teenage son, you're going to want to hear this report. Health specialist Marilyn Mitzler is here with details. Marilyn? Sally, the survey was done by the American Medical Association, and the results were released today. It's no surprise that teenagers use steroids, but the survey discovered their use is more widespread than expected. While steroids have been the downfall of some big-name athletes to teenagers, it only glorifies their use. It's been done Incredible to be true, in fact, what may have made Olympic athlete Ben Johnson his runner also stripped him of his gold medal. He tested positive for anabolic steroids. They're the synthetic form of the male hormone testosterone. Coupled with exercise, they make you bigger and stronger, but they can also cost you your health. Side effects include liver cancer, heart disease, sterility, and aggressive behavior. Apparently, it's a price some teenagers are willing to pay. 7% of all high school seniors either use or have used steroids. Students we talked to at North Miami Beach Senior High School say a lot of teens there are on steroids, but no one will admit it. Have you ever used it? No. Why not? Because it's bad for you. What does it do? It messes up your liver and uh, your heart. <laughs> and it screws up your head, too. So. Those who do admit to using steroids say the reasons are for improved performance, particularly in sports like wrestling, football, and track. But one out of three teams say it's just to look good. Where are they getting the drugs? From the black market, older athletes at the gym, and sometimes from those they trust most. A fifth of the anabolic steroids that are being used by this age group come from physicians, pharmacists, or veterinarians. A physical therapist we talked to says teenagers also get steroids from their fathers and older brothers. There is concern that teens are being pushed to look good and be the best, and some believe without those pressures, perhaps steroids wouldn't be such a problem. Tomorrow, we'll tell you about an alternative to steroids that's safe. I would so. think many parents who saw that would be concerned. How, mm. how could they tell if their child is on steroids? Mm. There are good signs. Number one, they get big very, very fast. In a couple of weeks, they also get a, a flush to their skin and acne. They also become very aggressive, somewhat mean. So those are things to watch out for. All right. Thank you, Marilyn. Last night, we told you that as many as 1 in 15 high school senior boys use steroids. This, despite possible dangerous side effects. But there's a new way to strengthen muscles that's safe. It uses electrical current. We learned it from the Russians, and there's hope it will lead to more gold for the U.S. Weightlifter Derek Krafts improved his performance more than any other lifter during the recent Seoul Olympics. Surprised officials tested him three times for steroids. The results were negative. Push, 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 push. I want you to hold it there for me now. This is the new technology Derek and other athletes are using to increase their strength. It's called neuromuscular electrical stimulation. For years, it's been used to strengthen knees after surgery. I believe it was designed to be used under the guidance of, uh, again, physical therapists and physicians. I think it is very specific, and I think it is the wave of the future. Recently, researchers discovered that using current 20 times more powerful than conventional muscle stimulators blocks an individual's pain response. It allows the person to endure high levels of current. That current causes muscle contractions, which create stronger muscles. After two weeks of use, Derek's lifts improved by 45 pounds. The first time I, we did it, uh, my legs were, were sore. Not the joint, just the muscles themselves. It took one week of uh, adjustment and getting my legs used to the, the contraction. There's hope this new technology will replace some use of steroids among athletes and teens. 28-year-old Derek Kras of Belleville took 11th place in this year's Olympics in Korea. Kras spends hours in a Belleville gym getting into shape. And he also goes to a laboratory at Washington University School of Medicine. It's here that his muscles get a workout with electricity. It just feels a little pressure. It's like it's falling asleep. Like everybody's had their forearm or wrist fall asleep. 
And uh, that's kind of what it feels like, a little bit of pressure, a little bit of tingling. Physical therapists first used the electronic stimulators on patients regaining strength or movement. The Soviets started using it on their athletes, but kept their techniques secret. This is the first time in the U.S. a researcher has shown dramatic improvements using an elite athlete. It actually stimulates the nerve which goes to the muscle, and it stimulates it in a very similar fashion that, that your body does. Your body basically uh, causes muscles to contract, you know, through a... Uh, um, uh, you know, a, a di in a different way, but um, uh, there's basically electricity in the nerves. Within two weeks of starting with the machine, Kraus increased his lift by almost 45 pounds, and he was able to maintain his new strength with his own training after he stopped the electric treatments. I think it was a very important tool enabling me to make the Olympic team this year. Delito wants to try to get the same results with other weightlifters who need a boost of strength for their sport. You can see that adding this type of training to someone's training, already ongoing training, uh, adding the stimulation does enhance performance, and that's basically what everybody's after. The machine that safely controls the current was custom designed for Washington University researchers. It allows high current with no pain. And some researchers see the electronic muscle stimulant as a possible alternative to the dangers of illegal steroids. One of the biggest scandals of the 1988s involved athletes using drugs, steroids to build up their muscles. Now those drugs may no longer be necessary for athletes or people who need muscle therapy. In this evening's Health Watch, Health and Science Editor Earl Bell reports on a new program using electricity to build muscle instead of drugs. This man is an American Olympic weightlifter. But more usually, when you think of Olympic weightlifters, you think of Russians. The secret may lie in a machine like this one. It sends large electric jolts into the muscle, contracting it violently and without pain. Anthony Delito of Washington University in St. Louis tried it on U.S. weightlifter Derek Crass. It was done without steroids. He was able to lift 20 kilograms more, which is about 44 pounds. He was able to uh, improve that much in a three-week period. Derek Crass combined weight workouts with electrical stimulation. I brought Delito and his machine over to the Hospital for Joint Diseases, where he demonstrated the technique. Dr. Steve Meadows, a resident, was the subject. Now, the idea is to try to relax. Don't try to fight it, and don't try to help it, okay? Just let it do its thing. First, Dr. Meadows stressed his muscle to the maximum. It was picked up on this recording machine. We're going to have to build it up. Again. Next, the electrical stimulation. You can see the muscle bulge. Does that hurt? It's not real pain, it's more of a discomfort, a deep vibration sense, but no pain per se. Delito says that it doesn't hurt because the bursts of electricity come out at high frequency. That numbs the nerves of the skin. Without that high frequency, the jolt of electricity can send a shock of pain down the leg. Dr. Donald Rose is a New York sports doctor and orthopedist. The Russians have utilized electrical stimulation to hyperdevelop muscle in athletes, especially in their weightlifters. The consensus, however, has been among the Western researchers that electrical stimulation alone has not given significant differences in terms of strength gain uh, over exercise alone um, to the athletes. As far as I can see, should train with the muscle stimulator, but at the same time should, should keep going to the gym and working with, it, with weights in the gym. Steroids have sort of been banned from athletic uh, competitions. What about this? We do an awful lot of exercise that involves high-tech equipment, and I just see this as another form of high-tech equipment. Although the electrical stimulation looks promising, and it is painless, a lot more scientific work will have to be done to prove that it can improve athletic performance. With today's 5 o'clock Health Watch, I'm Earl Ubell, Channel 2 News.